Welcome back to another preview here in the channel. Uh, this week, Ravens versus Rams, week 17. We are already in week 17. It feels like a very, very... It feels like yesterday we started the season with week one, you know. We were preparing for Monday Night Football against the, against the Raiders. We had our fantasy teams all set and ready, you know. It, it, it feels, it went by very, very fast. Uh, but yeah, man, week 17. The Ravens are in a very, very important two-week stretch here. You got to win out if you want to win a division. And uh, if you want to make the playoffs, you're going to have to start winning. You're going to have to start winning again. But yeah, man, uh, Ravens are still in a very difficult situation. Uh, they're not controlling their fate at all either. They're not controlling their fate anymore. The Dolphins have the seventh seed. Uh, they're probably going to drop the game against the, the Titans. Yeah. Uh, they're playing the Titans this week. I think they're going to lose that game for sure. Uh, I, I don't see them winning in in a row and against against the Titans either. Um, the Titans are a very good team as well. Uh, but yeah, man. Uh... Again, injured Ravens against Rams. Uh, I'm not going to go very... I'm not going to make a very, very long video on this. Uh, but yeah, man. Let, let's get right into it. So, the Rams have a very, very good roster. You have Matthew Stafford, who's been playing MVP level for the most part. Cooper Cup, he's been having a historic season. With the with the Rams this year, uh, on defense, even on offense, you still have Odell Beckham, who's been lighting it up since joining the Rams. Uh, on defense, you still have the best player in the NFL, and Aaron Donald. He's the best player in the NFL. It's not even close. Uh, Julian Ramsey, best corner in the league. Yeah, you have a. You're gonna have a top five front seven right there for the Rams. So it's going to be important for this old line to hold up and do well. Uh, but yeah, uh, we're gonna we're guaranteed to have Tyler Huntley. We're guaranteed to have Tyler Huntley in this game. Uh, if Lamar plays, if you have Lamar, which would be great, uh, our offense should operate normally. The play calling needs to be better. The play calling we need to go into that no huddle. Off tempo type offense because it works for every quarterback on this roster, especially for Lamar. So it, it should be it. Again on offense, we're we're needed to to feed Mark Andrews. Mark Andrews has been balling out. Every quarterback who just gave the ball to him, he, he just got good results from Mark Andrews, the best tight end this year for sure. So just feed Mark Andrews. And that's how it, you know, and that's how it should be. And also the talent we have, because we have a lot of talent. We should play that talent as well, uh, because we just don't, I have no clue why we just don't like playing good players. We have guys like Tyson Williams, James Prochet, Devin Duvernay, guys like, like they have talent. Tyson Williams is the best runner. Is the best is the best pure runner on this team, and we and he just he d disappeared. He, he's not here anymore. He just doesn't exist. So I would love to see him, but Greg Roman somehow hates him. I have no clue what he did to him. Maybe he slept with his uh, with his wife or uh, wife or something. But Tyson Williams needs to be playing. We just need to use our players. We just need to use our players. And the play calling is going to need to be better. And we go high tempo. Offensive line, going to need to be key. It's going to need to be key. Because we just cannot afford to play bad uh, on the offensive line. Because if the pass protection is bad, Aaron Donald and company are going to feast. So Alejandro Villanueva, we're going to need a good game from you. An actual good game. Okay, because you have not been good this year. You've had a one good game. So we're gonna need you to be good. 
you know? Uh, be watchable, okay? At least be watchable. Uh, and then I'm, I'll call it pro uh, progress. Uh, I would see the Rams putting Jalen Ramsey on Mark Andrews. So if that's the case, uh, it should free up Hollywood for some deep, sh deep shots or him to get open. It should open things up for him. And, and 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 we should scheme for that. And if we don't, again, I'm gonna I'm gonna blame you, Greg Roman, for not adjusting. Um, like I said before, uh, our, our young talent is going uh, our other young talent is gonna need to get targets. Bateman, Duvernay, Prochet, all the guys. Uh, Tyson Williams is going to need to get touches as well. Um, and most importantly, lastly and most importantly, we, we're going to need to score points. We're going to need to score points against this Rams team to keep up. Because uh, defense is going to be a problem. Defense is going to be the real problem. We have given up a total of 72 points in the, in the past two games with a depleted defense practice squad pretty much. Uh, but... Honestly, this game, I think we should get more help. We're getting key players back. And especially in the secondary. And if we can limit Cooper Cup and OBJ, it should be fine. We should be fine. Uh, Cam Akers might return. Sony Michelle has been balling out a little bit. You know, he's been playing pretty well. Uh, but... Cam Akers, I don't know why. I don't know how he's coming back when Dobbins, and Dobbins, Peters, and Gus have had the same injuries. The same injury. And they can't come back at all this year. And talking about coming back, uh, we have to hope Anthony Averitt comes back because uh, I do not want to deal with Daryl Worley. And, uh, you know, he's our only, he, 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 I mean, he's pretty much the guy. He's pretty much one of the only corners, you know, who are actually competent in some way. But it's very doubtful. He's listed as doubtful. So that is very, very bad. Uh, lastly, on defense, we cannot let them score on every drive. Like, they cannot score on every drive it cannot be how it is or else we're guaranteed to lose uh we need stops and i think we can get stops this game because we actually have more players back we still have a practice squad but uh we're more fine we, you, you can say we are more fine so that should be good but yeah this game I think we can win this game definitely. Uh, I don't see us winning five. I don't see us losing five games in a row for sure. I don't really see us losing five games in a row. Uh, but the Rams are a very tough opponent. If we can get Lamar, we have a way, way better chance because uh, he's very good against the NFC teams as well. And uh, he gives us the better chance to win. With Lamar, you always have a chance. Uh, Tyler Huntley, he's been pretty good. I guess, but, you know, he he can run the offense the same way. He can run the offense the same way, but Lamar gives us the best chance to win. Uh, and that's all I'm going to say. But yeah, man, uh, to tell you, you can tell me what you think down below. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Uh, so sorry for this video coming late. I've been very, very irritated with some shit. But yeah, man, see you guys in the next one.